Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Word Babe here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome if you're a returning subscriber and also welcome if you're new here. Um, I hope you subscribe before the end of this video. You know, subscribe so you can join the family, stay in the mix, and all of that. So, for my um, subscribers, you guys know that I recently completed, or not recently, I think this was like last year, completed um, an Invisalign treatment. Uh, I did an Invisalign treatment with Candid. It took me like, about a year give or take um, to complete the treatment and I, I, I basically took you guys through the whole process like how I started um, how I was wondering everything I basically like give you guys a full gist right tell me why I've come back home and I've restarted um, Invisalign I don't want to say candid because I'm gonna get into details later but like now I've restarted Invisalign again um, and I want to come and just give you guys the reason why and just give like a more updated opinion on the whole process so if you're interested in Invisalign or um, you watch my last videos and you want to see what exactly the change is continue watching okay so I have to start with saying that um, when I was doing the candid treatment um, honestly everything went good um, for the time being like during the treatment everything went good the reason why I feel like everything went good is because everything was automated through the app so it's like they already knew what to um, give to you or they already knew the process that you were supposed to follow during your treatment right um i had the app i would do my scans every two weeks and the doctor would either send me a note saying move on to your next tray or don't move on like that it was all automated now the issue came when the program finished or when the treatment finished and it was no longer an automated you know interaction like people actually needed to respond to me people actually needed to like give me answers people actually needed to like I don't know like be more present as opposed to something that's automated and that's where the issue came in right um so i finished my candy treatment about april of 2022 2021 i think it was 2022 i think i started 2021 and then i finished um 2022 and when i finished i had a feeling like i had heard oh you were going to be wearing retainers for the rest of your life basically so i was like okay um I'm waiting, I'm basically waiting for my retainers. Uh, and the thing is, I moved, like I switched addresses between when I started the program and when I actually finished. So like, I made sure I kept it updated. Like I emailed Candid, I said, oh, you know, this is my updated address. In case you guys need to send me anything, because I'm over here thinking I need to be getting these retainers. Um, But they never came. And as they never came, the more I sat with our retainers, the more I started seeing that my shift was literally reverting back to what I had before. And you guys, it didn't even take that long for it to like go back and start having space. Like it really didn't take that long, which kind of blew my mind. And I was like, whoa, I need to get these retainers because I can't cancel all the 12 months of hard work I did just because you guys forgot to send me the retainer, okay? And so that's like, that's how this whole process thing started. I am restarting Invisalign treatments and the reason why I say I'm restarting is because this time I'm going through a dentist. So like the process is a little bit different, which is why I wanted to come on here and give you guys like what the difference are. Like, it's not something, it's not crazy. Number one, the price. And I think that's why um, in the beginning when I did Candida, I was also, I was grateful for that because the price was not as bad as if I had gone to, to an actual dentist. Um, yes, the price is way more. I feel like this actual dentist is actually costing me twice how much I did for Candida. So you can imagine like, you can imagine the difference. Like, um, I feel like if you're, if you have like a certain budget and your teeth is not as, like if it's not that much you want to change your teeth, I can see why you would go with Candid. Like it's less expensive. On that end, I can see where Candid or those third-party um, companies are like better um, price-wise. But if you decide to go with the dentist, um, you're probably gonna pay more. And the reason why you're probably gonna pay more is because of the kind of treatment um, that the dentist has. So I think Candid was Candid was like focused on let's get you tr straight seats or was it even straight seats or let's close the gap i think that's what candid was really focused on let's close whatever gap you have and try to get your teeth straight that was it i'm coming to the dentist and the dentist is telling me that it's not just about straight teeth it's not just about closing your gap it's about gum placement it's about 
alignment is about this one this one like the dentist is like a more robust uh, treatment um, it's not just focusing on one thing which is why I think it's more expensive like they're trying to cover all these extra parts right to make sure that at the end of the day you have the perfect 100% best smile right because of that that also leads to um, what's it called having more trays so I think when I did my candy treatment I had like 16 trays like literally it was only 16 um, now guaranteed I didn't wear all the trays for two weeks some of them were like longer than two weeks others were like none of them were shorter than two weeks some of them were like two three four weeks cool um, <laughs> the dentist has given me 22 trays so 16 for candid versus 22 from the dentist it's kind of like ah, because when I first said I was going to do this, I was thinking since I already did candid, maybe I've already done small like some of the work, yeah. Um, but that was not the case because the dentist went ahead and said, "Yeah, you have a whole 22 trays to go through," and I was like, "Well, that kind of sucks because I'm thinking I've done this for a whole year. Like maybe I should only have three or four months of you know recovery work, but it's literally like I'm starting all over." Okay, um, one thing that I will say about the dentist is that, again, like I told you, it's a more robust, more invasive um, treatment. And one of the things that um, makes me feel that way is before you even start the trays and everything, like they put these things called buttons on your teeth. I, I know. Um, the buttons are like small square tooth chip I, I, I don't think it's actual tooth but like it's supposed to look like tooth um, it's white and it's literally just a small square that they attach onto your actual teeth with glue and the point is that these trays um, whenever you put them in they can latch onto the buttons to help them stay better um, it's, that's crazy right because kind of never kind of never had such a such a helper, I would say, because I remember when I first started Candid, um, or I started the Invisalign with Candid, and I would put the trays in, and they just hurt so bad. And what what was really, really like hurting was you're trying to sit there and squeeze it. <laughs> you're trying to sit there to squeeze it so it can fit, but also like put so much pressure to where it just stays. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like now that I have buttons, it makes sense because the buttons will give you that extra, you know, security, making it easier to like take off and put back on and all of that, okay? What else? All right, one thing I really, really liked about the dentist is the fact that they did a comprehensive scan of my tooth and told me what I might need before I start Invisalign treatment, okay? When I went to Candid, or I guess my whole life, I had had this extra baby tooth, like at the top of my teeth. Um, I've had an extra baby tooth, and when I went to Candid, they're like, oh, girl, you're good. We're just gonna do a tray. And the tray actually, <laughs> the tray that I had from Candid actually had like a spot for that baby tooth. Now that I've gone to the dentist, I know some of the things that they should have worked on before they even told me to start the process, before they even let me start the process. I honestly don't know what number I'm on, but the next thing that I have on here is um, the monitoring system. So I don't know if you guys uh, watched my Invisalign journey the first time. I showed you guys how I was like doing these scans every two weeks and then sending it to the doctor, um, the dentist. I guess I did have a dentist. Anyways, I'll do the scan, send it to the dentist, and the dentist will tell me, oh, you know, you have another two weeks or you're good to go, move on to your next tray. Um, so we don't have that with the dentist, and I don't know if it's because you can definitely come in and visit the dentist if needed or when needed. So like, there's no real need for remote monitoring, but I will say that they gave me like six how many? Maybe like four. They already gave me like four of my Invisalign and all they said was change it bi-weekly. So candid, sometimes if I send the scan after two weeks and they don't think that it's correct or they don't think that it's well aligned, they'll tell me to wear it for another two weeks. But with the dentist, it seems like you're like on your own um, to wear you have to just do the two, 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 two weeks. I feel like I prefer candid in that area because with candid, it was more like a progressive, you know, periodical check uh, to make sure that everything is good. But with the dentist, it's like a 
I don't know, monthly or six weeks or like, oh, you do this and then I'll see you in about six weeks to see if you did the six weeks right. So what if I didn't do the six weeks right? How am I gonna go back and fix it? As opposed to Candidate's like, oh, after two weeks, did you do it right? Did you not do it again? Don't do it again. Like, you know, you see like the difference there. So I, I think in that sense, I might prefer Candid over the dentist. Now granted, I can just go to my dentist if I really have to, but like, you know, I like convenience. So um, the, the scan box was really clutch. It was really clutch. Um, but I'm not gonna knock the, dun the dentist if I go when I go there in six weeks. If they say I not do it right, then that's my own fault. I'll be sure I'm an adult, all right. And last but not least, I guess this can also be related to uh, the last point that I just made was the whole communication process. Um, I guess if I have a question for my doctor, if I have an issue, if I have a concern, concern, I can reach them quite easily. If I'm not calling them, they're, they're, the office is literally by my by my work. I would literally leave work and come and see you. Like, there was someone that I could go talk to, there was someone that I could actually talk to over the phone, and there was someone that knew who I was as a patient. That knew, oh, this person is doing this treatment, this is where, this is all that she did before. This is, like, knew my whole profile. We can't did, we didn't have that, or I didn't have that. Um, we can't did, like I told you, after the whole where is my retainer stuff, communication with them was just so horrible. Like, I ordered the set of retainers and when I reached out to them I said, hey, you guys haven't given me retainers. It was a whole thing. I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just order new sets of retainers. Um, I ordered the retainers. They never came. Um, like, they sent me the pack to do like my prints and everything. Told me to send it back to them. I sent it back to them. I was in my house waiting for retainers for like, months i was like bro how long does it take for y'all to make retainers like it doesn't make any sense and so that's when i tried to start reaching out to customer service i'm like hey this is a story and i had to tell my story every time that's that, that irked me so much i had to always restart and re-explain what the issue was that oh i just did my treatment you guys never sent me retainers i ordered retainers so like there was no one person who really knew my case or knew me as a patient or even knew what the fuck they needed to get me so everything was just all around the place and that honestly i started getting annoyed and i started getting, i started getting frustrated because we weren't going anywhere we weren't going anywhere at the end of the day i just ended up getting my money back and that's when i reached out to a dentist um to See if I could get retainers, but the dentist was like, nah, sis, you gotta do the whole thing again. That's cool, Sha. Um, but those are those are the key differences that I've noticed so far. I'm only like four weeks in. I be I mean that four or six weeks into my um, new Invisalign journey now. Um, so those are the key differences that I've noticed so far. I have my um, appointment with my dentist coming up in May for the checkup because I have one more trade after this one. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, I definitely will still give, bring you guys on this process as well um, if there are, if there are uh, differences that I notice between both. For the most part, I expect the, the treatment and everything to go the same way as Candid. Um, but of course, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you guys have you know ever experienced using one of these third-party companies versus using a dentist. Um, which one do you prefer and why? Let me know if you guys are interested in Invisalign or have tried it out and how you like it. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.